And I realized, oh my goodness, I cut it when I was taking it down. I cut it because I was just, I just go, I was just going like this, just going all over the place. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Serena Kemba and I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about all things crochet braids. So a little backstory. I have been wearing, I personally have been wearing crochet braids for going on a decade because I remember I first started wearing them right after I graduated high school. So that was like around 2015, 2016. So Honestly, they've been my go-to protective style this whole time. I've had my share of braids and twists and maybe, well, I haven't really worn a sew-in since high school for my high school prom. So it's been a long time since I've worn a sew-in per se. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like crochet braids aren't really talked about that much. That could just be me. Like, sure, you find them a lot here on YouTube, there's a lot of videos and tutorials on how to do it, but I never, I personally have never really seen anybody actually talking about them. I know wigs are like the big thing right now, as well as like sew-ins, boho braids, that's the trend right now, but I feel like crochet braids are very underrated. And so I'm just here to kind of like shed light on that and how they have helped me and my hair, my natural hair journey and growing up my hair. Before I really get into the video, if it is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you get notified for whenever I do post and also follow me on Instagram at serena.kemba. All right, so all about crochet braids. So I'm gonna kind of go through one why i personally love crochet braids the second part is going to be how to manage the crochet hair itself as well as your own natural hair so first things first what i love about crochet braids okay like i said earlier i've been wearing crochet braids for up to 10 years now almost and what i have found is number one how versatile they actually are they are very versatile. You can do almost any and every style in a crochet style. I have worn straight crochet hair. <clears throat> I have worn crochet twists. I have worn crochet curly hair. Uh, this right here is a new install that I put in the other day. <laughs> I've done a bob cut with a crochet. I can go on. You name it, there's a crochet style for it. The second thing that I love about crochet braids are that they are actually very easy to do. If you just, all you really have to do, if you do decide to cornrow your hair, there are some ways that you can do crochet styles without cornrowing. But if you do decide, most people um, wear cornrows, all you have to do is just the latch hook. And it is extremely easy. It's like you look at it, you can practice it, but it's like once you get the hang of it, it is a piece of cake. The third thing is... It is a low manipulation style. So if I were to wear a weave, typically, if I don't get a closure, I would have to have a leave out. And so that's constantly putting heat on my hair. I personally don't like putting heat on my hair. I would like to keep the heat to an extreme minimum. But with crochet braids, I don't have to really worry about putting any heat on my natural hair. If I do put heat on the extensions that's one thing but i don't have to worry about any kind of heat damage i really don't have to mess with my natural hair at all because it's all underneath nice and tucked away the fourth thing is typically they don't take long to install so i have worn braids i've even gotten sewings done well when i did wear a sewing a couple times back in high school like it didn't really take like compared to getting sitting for four to six or even eight or more hours getting braids, I can do my crochet style within two hours maximum. It does not take long at all. And I have, I'm a very busy person. <laughs> 
So I don't have time to constantly be sitting in a chair for that long. I just do not have that kind of time. The next thing that I have found that made me really like crochet braids are the fact that they can last a really good while if of course you take care of it. But if you do take care of it, it can last you a good while. Like I would wear my styles for no more than about six weeks. Four weeks at a minimum. That's still a good amount of time in between to let your hair rest and not have to worry about, you know, constantly taking it down and all of that stuff. Of course, do what works for you. I am not, I'm not trying to change anybody's routine or anything. I'm just saying for me, I liked how I could get my hair done and not have to worry about it for some weeks. And the last thing that I love about the crochet braids I wear is that they are pretty affordable. Um, I only wear synthetic hair. Synthetic is, of course, typically cheaper than human hair. Let me just say, it all depends on how many packets of hair, what brand of hair you're buying, where you're buying the hair from. This all plays a factor, but I'm just saying for me, I don't spend any more than 30 to 40 dollars if i if i pick up this hair well this hair this hair actually i don't find in at my local beauty supply store so i had to get it from amazon but even on amazon this is not sponsored at all i'm just saying i found this on amazon so there you have it it was like 30 bucks for four packs which is pretty much kind of like what i would pay in the stores anyway so i mean 30 bucks for a style that you can wear for about a month I mean, I, I can, how can you, how can you beat that? So the thing about crochet braids, like pretty much any other protective style, is not a protective style if you are not protecting your hair. Now, when it comes to crochet braids, I think I actually want to touch on how to actually take care of the extension hair as well, so that you actually can get that longevity with your style. I have found that. Whenever I'm not upkeeping and taking good care of the actual hair itself, uh, the hair tends to get matted quicker or I tend to have a lot of more tangles, shedding, all of that. It's synthetic hair. Now, of course, there are certain things that you just can't control when it comes to synthetic hair. But I have personally been able to like figure out some ways that I can help keep the hair as in good condition as long as I can. So the first thing, First that I always do whenever I get my extensions, I wash my extensions before installation for two reasons. One, um, with the synthetic hair, I don't know how it is with the human hair, but especially with the synthetic hair, I have found and I've heard from other people that there is like a coating or like some kind of chemical coating that they tend to put on it before they put it in their package. and sometimes that for some people it can cause an allergic reaction or like itchy scalp it can just be very uncomfortable someone in a video asked me to do a video on that and I I think I'm gonna do one um, and show you guys like how I wash my extensions but yes I think that is very important to do that not only do I wash it because of the chemical coating I get my hair a lot of my hair from the beauty supply stores and in the beauty supply stores, you know, people tend to touch the hair. I mean, that's what you do. You go in, you see some hair, you're like, oh, that's cute. Let me feel it. Okay, so I personally like to wash the hair before I put it on my head because I just want to make sure that it's clean of all the germs from everybody and a mama's fingertips because you don't know who's been touching what and all of that. So I just want to have peace of mind make sure that my hair is clean before i put it on my hair my head and wear it so the second thing that i do to keep my crochet extensions intact is braiding them at night i would not go to bed with this like that like i can't like just go to bed sleep like that what i do for this kind of hair I'll show you. I'll probably put it in about four braids and braid it. And I'll even put a rubber band at the bottom because it will unravel. I'll put a rubber band at the bottom and then I'll wrap it. I found that when you put, when you uh, braid your hair in sections at night, it keeps the hair from matting so quickly and getting tangled. 
So, and also it, it just helps keep it together. So another thing that I personally do now, certain hair will call for some mousse. Uh, I know, cause sometimes it, I, I even put a little bit of mousse on this cause it was just really, really big and frizzy. But the, but just to make sure when you are using mousse, especially with the synthetic hair, be careful not to be too heavy handed with it because in the past, I've worn uh, synthetic hair and putting too much mousse on it. It just feels very, it just weighs it down a lot and it gets very sticky and like slippery and grimy, kind of gross. So just be, if you are gonna use mousse on any crochet extensions, especially the curly ones, if you have a curly style and you wanna use crochet, I'm mean, sorry, if you wanna use mousse, I would say be as conservative as you can and try not to put too much on it so you don't, weigh it down and it doesn't get sticky. The last thing with managing the crochet hair itself, this is actually more towards the um, the straight crochet hair, especially if you get, if you use braiding hair that is flame retardant. So if you are using that kind of hair, I would highly recommend that you do not go above the recommended heat temperature. I only say that because you have to keep in mind if you are getting the braiding hair, the synthetic braiding hair, um, the synthetic hair is just basically plastic. And so if you put too much heat on it, you will melt it and it will ruin the hair. So I would actually advise that if you do have to straighten it, don't even use the max heat. I say just go a little bit under and then, cause you can always go back if you need more heat on it. You can always do a couple more rounds, but I will actually personally recommend that you not even use the maximum heat when you are using um, some kind of straightener. So like if you have Marley hair, I know some Marley hair brands are flame retardant and you can straighten them. I will recommend that you not use the highest temperature. I would say start out using a lower temperature and then you, towards like the last few rounds, you can take it up. I can't talk about managing the crochet hair without talking about managing your natural hair. And that's why I put this last. With any other style, I mean, with weaves, with wigs, with braids, what crochet braids, whatever. Um, I still have to stress that it is very important to take care of your natural hair underneath. Otherwise, if you are neglecting your hair while it is in a protective style, it's kind of defeating the purpose. I do know like for, for crochet braids, I have, I mean, there's so many different textures and styles of the hair itself, the extensions itself. What I will recommend to take care of your natural hair is very important to know what your hair likes and doesn't like, and it's gonna take some trial and error. But wear extensions that will not ruin your hair pull on your hair, you know, or anything like that, as well as don't wear styles that are too heavy and that will pull on your hair as well. So this is pretty much in general, but this video is about crochet braids. So I'm gonna say crochet braids, but of course you can apply this to braids as well. And then the second thing to do to take care of your hair underneath is to take care of your scalp, whatever that looks like. I know there's a whole thing with should you oil your scalp versus not oiling your scalp and using grease versus using oil? And like, there's like all kinds of debates. I'm not here to debate. I'm just here to tell you to take care of your scalp. Number three, to take care of your hair underneath your crochet braids, do not wear your crochet styles for too long because they will mat. If you wear it for too long and it's matted, the takedown is a hassle. I will recommend four to six weeks. That's just my personal window. I typically try to do for no more than six weeks. And lately I actually haven't been wearing my style six weeks is I've probably put it down to about five weeks max. And then the very last, last tip when taking care of your natural hair underneath your crochet braids, I would say to be careful and take your time when you are taking it down. I am telling you this from personal experience. There were times where I've been taking down my crochet styles, right? So like, I'll just go and start cutting, right? Cause I'm like in a rush, I'll be cutting. And then when I 
take down the cornrows, I noticed like there's like a chunk that's been like cut short from my from my hair. And I'm like, where's the rest of my hair? And I realized, oh my goodness, I cut it when I was taking it down. I cut it. Cause I was just, I just go, I was just going like this. Just going all over the place. Don't do that. This happens, and it was this happened to me like three or four times and I, I finally I got the memo like you know what I'm trying gonna I'm I'm gonna limit my scissor usage like if I can try and take them down one by one by hand I will have to because it's I'm just tired of having my hair be like cut from taking it down and I knew it's new growth like I'm cutting off all that new growth anywho be careful <laughs> when taking down your crochet style so that is the video i hope you guys found this very um informative and helpful if you're new to crochet braids let me know in the comments below if you've been wearing them for a while like me let me know in the comments below or if you have any questions ask me in the comments below and i try to i will definitely try to help you out as much as i can i hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down video and hopefully you guys took something from this as far as tips on how to take care of the crochet hair how to wash it i will actually do an in-depth video on that but the importance of washing the hair and i will honestly have to say i am proud to say that my hair has flourished personally when wearing crochet braids out of all the protective styles crochet braids takes the number one spot so that's all that i have for you guys today I'm signing out. I'm Serena Kemba, and I hope that you guys continue to have an amazing day. See you guys later.